In this video, we're going to talk about inspecting tires. We're going to talk about the tread depth measurement, general inspection, visual inspection, and also looking at tire inflations. Here I've got three different sections of tires that have been cut up. Some of these were ones that had obvious faults or wear or just serve as a good demonstration. This tire is a great example to show how a tire is put together. So we've taken this tire, it's a small section that's been cut, and then we've tried to peel away each layer as we come up. At the base, you see the radial ply. This is wrapped at each hoop that's part of the bead. So within this bead, I've got stainless steel hoops, which is a wire that's been wrapped. That goes around the whole circumference of the wheel. That serves as the structure to hold this tire to the wheel. The structure for the tire itself then comes from these radial plies that go this way. Once we've established that, we then build other plies on top of it with different materials like nylon type materials, fabric type materials, steel belts, and ultimately we get up to the tread of the tire. Inspection of tread is one of the primary places we spend our time as technicians. We want to look at how is this tire wearing in terms of its relative wear on the inside, middle, and outside, as well as just the total depth of the tread. In most places, the legal minimum for tire tread is 2 seconds of an inch. Manufacturers work to give us a visual indicator of that with these wear bars right here. These wear bars are designed at 2 seconds of an inch so that when I see those wear bars moving across, just like on this side, that tells me that tire's worn out with a quick visual inspection. To be more detailed and keep track of where we're at in our tire wear process, we do want to measure them. So this tire tread depth gauge is a standard tool, one that we'd use a lot as we do routine maintenance, oil changes and inspections to keep an eye on tires, see how they're wearing and see whether or not we need to do a rotation. To use this tool, it is a depth gauge. This has got this flat portion here. That black flat portion is gonna go against the tread and the measurement here is going to go down in between the treads in one of these curves. So I'm going to put it to the tread like that, make sure I've got extra sticking out, push that down until it's flat, and then remove it and take a reading. Once we've taken our reading, we want to take a close look and interpret the numbers that we got. So this particular tool utilizes both 30 seconds of an inch as well as millimeters. Uh, most dealerships, most shops, here in the US, utilize the 30 second measurement, although some European manufacturers and things like that will stick with millimeters. For the most part, these tools will do both, and so as a tech, if you purchase one tool, you'll be able to use it in both ways. So here we can see, I'm looking at 30 seconds. I can see these lines as they go up, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna look for the line that is closest lined up here at the bottom. It may take some interpretation in order to see where I'm at. So right there, you see we're really just covering up the line for four. And so that tells me this tire is four 30 seconds of an inch. Another thing we wanna pay attention to with tire inspections is how is the tire wearing? Is it even, is it equal in terms of being worn across the tread surface? This tire is a good example of one that has had some sort of slip belt issue or experience something like a bad shock or bad ball joint where that tire wore very unevenly. And you can see this repetition of raised portions within the tire. That kind of tire is going to be quite loud, probably have vibration issues, something that's gonna come into the shop with a customer concern. Accelerated wear like this just on one side generally tells me that there's an issue with the wheel alignment of the car and it's gonna need further inspection. Another important inspection I want to do with my tires is looking at the inflation. Anytime I bring a car into for service, we ought to be checking these things. It's a really basic item. Keeping air inflation where it should be in on my tires is going to help prevent issues, help prevent tire failures. There's high statistics that tire failures usually coincide with low inflation. In order to decide what to inflate my tires to, I'm going to look for the tire placard sticker on the vehicle. On this Eclipse, I've opened the door, and here I find my tire placard within the driver door jam. Here's the tire placard within the door jam. This sticker tells me a, a variety of information about the weight rating of the car, as well as the tire sizing and the cold tire pressure or inflation that I need to achieve. Notice that they list front and rear separate. On some platforms, those front and rear pressures will be different. That's something I need to pay attention to. 
the tire spare is also listed and has a different inflation pressure. Lastly, the cold tire pressure is an important distinction to make. Cold tire pressure does not mean we need to make the tire excessively cold, rather just that when you make the adjustment for inflation, it's done at ambient air temperature. If the car has been driven a lot, tire pressures increase as friction and heat cause a density change of the air within the tire. So we wanna make sure it's been sitting for a while and that those temperatures have neutralized. The last element of tire inspection that I wanna pay attention to is to check the full circumference of the tread for debris, for punctures, or other issues that could create safety and operation concerns. This particular tire is on one of our lab vehicles. It's been used for some patchwork. You can see here, there's a plug. If I was doing a service, it would be a good idea to make note that there's a patch or a plug in this particular tire, just for our records. When I do this, I wanna make sure I check the whole circumference of the tire. Sometimes this is when I will discover nails, screws, or other issues that need attending to. That's a quick overview of general tire inspection. We wanna make sure we're always inspecting tires on every service and really keeping an eye on this critical component.